I take like this is one router if I take this router and connect here to switch or maybe I can connect to another router let's take this is another router I can make zoom in and we can say this is the router R1 this is the router R2 I can make R1 and this is R2 and I will connect like this so here if you see let me put label here what IP we are planning to assign here I will say we will assign here IP 192.168.12.1/24 this interface of the router and here we will write 192.168. Uh, here also the same network you need to remember if you give different it will not work then after that what we can say we can connect from here to here and here to here okay like this so here we can say I can connect this side the other interface we can configure this one no confusion right or any your feeling it's just simple I am putting here uh, IP whatever I am planning to use here you see 192 this is directly connected this should be same but here you can have anything here you can have anything you can imagine this is your head office and this is your branch office in between there is a ISP router they will connect and they will take care in same router if you try to assign the same subnet IP it will give you error router is saying router you remember router is a device which is used to make the communication between different network communication between different network so router will not accept if we configure let's see here if we want to configure what we will do let me write first in the notepad here I can take I will say basic basic router lab what I will do here I will write here R1 configuration enable config t host name r1 then interface f0 by 0 ip address 192.168.12.1 give space to 55.255.255.0 no doubt right but interface is done so you need to write up and then you have another interface here f0 by 1 here so you will write f0 by 1 then you will write ip address and whatever ip we have 192.168.1.1 give space to 55.255.255.255 and we write no shirt here this is the r1 configuration and i can copy and paste see here i will copy only one interface because other one i want to show you like if we configure the same subnet ip uh, what error we will get so this one I assign here okay now I am doing this interface this one so if you see here what I will do I will assign the same subnet IP actually router will not accept in the router same router you cannot assign the same subnet IP to more than one interface already we configured there now I am configuring the same subnet IP different IP but same subnet you by seeing this one you can easily figure out right this is like uh, 3 is same here here yes. here same yes. subnet so router is a device which is used to make the communication between different networks so here you see yes. we are Why getting the we? yeah overlap yes. same yes. if we need same then no need to use router if you have same interface then directly connect switch and use the other one which we wrote yes. here I paste I yes. copy and paste that one now I will save the configuration r1 configuration is finished and you can see this interface go up this interface not go up because uh, the directly connected link should also be up then only it will up because here it up that's why here is also up. it will take here what i mean if this side is up here also up here i make up by writing no shirt but here i did not do anything so here is down here is up so it is showing down only here 
clear or confusion see here this interface f0 by 0 we configured this ip and we make the interface up but the protocol is done because the opposite site interface is done that's why it is showing done but these both are up because the opposite side is up clear yes now we will go and we will divide the notepad and we will write here r2 configuration so we can say this is r2 configuration enable config t host name r2 configuration interface f0 by 0 i am saying this interface ip address 192.168.12.2 give space 255.255.0 and we will write no shirt interface f0 by 1 ip address whatever the ip address 192 168 2.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and write no shirt here we can copy and paste this in the r2 If you see, I paste it here. So everything is good. No error. You need to check. Sometime you get the error also here. Yes. So now everything is good. I will save. Now how to check the routing table? Uh, we are saying routing table. So you have this command show IP root. With this command you will check the routing table. So when you write like this show IP root, you will get the routing table. What is this? This one is code what is code means whatever you have written here that full form will be available here now i did not configure any routing protocol so whatever the default we have when you assign the ip address you will get only directly connected information this interface is having 192.162.12 and 2.1 that information only present here <coughs> first you will read like this c c means it is connected to me and you will get the network id of the ip which is connected to this interface if you see this interface 192.168.2.0 they will write slash 24 directly connected this one and which interface f0 by 1 this one and same thing you will have in the new version new routers you have the same thing written two times one is with c one is with l only only difference here they will write first one c they will write as a network id in l they will write the complete ip with slash 32 